All right, well, we've got <clears throat> flashing check engine light. The um, pulled this codes real quick. It's a PO306 cylinder six misfire. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna swap the uh, spark plug from the adjacent cylinder and the wire, and we'll see if that uh, narrows the issue down. Okay, after we swap the uh, plugs and the wires uh, between number uh, four and number six, <clears throat> nothing really changed. Put a new coil on number six, as you can see, that didn't really change. So it's more than likely not a spark issue. It could be a fuel issue, or it could be a mechanical issue like um, a collapsed lifter. You know, this does have the active fuel management system on it. So um, we're going to take the valve cover off now and just, you know, it's easy enough. And uh, we'll see what's underneath. Okay, so what we've done um, after swapping the spark plug, spark plug wire, and the ignition coil, and not curing the problem, just went ahead and popped the valve cover off on the passenger side it's pretty easy uh, one tip though remove all the coils because some of the bolts for the uh, valve cover are hidden underneath where the coil lives so take the coils off and so what we found again the prop the fault was cylinder number six which is the third one back on this side um, and what we found the uh, intake valve is uh, completely collapsed. That lifter is not doing a thing. So that's why I, that cylinder is not working. All the others seem okay. But again, on, on the passenger side, cylinder number four, which is the second one back, and six are both part of the active fuel management system. So that's, uh, that's gonna point right at our problem right there. So, Next, we'll do a um, cost comparison on uh, either repairing this engine, which has 190,000 miles on it. Um, there's a couple different ways you can repair it. Or um, another option would be a junkyard motor. Or the third option would be uh, installing a reman. So stay tuned and we'll get this thing figured out.